All right, I wanted to show you guys the part two uh, of reimbursements with YNAP. Uh, what do you do when the person pays you back? Uh, in our previous video, link in the description back, uh, down below. We uh, set the category here for $400 for reimbursements that we pre-filled with $400. We had a plane ticket and it was to meet uh, Bob in Florida. Uh, we're going to say, for example, Bob is paying us back. So we'll close that, and we can uh, keep track of all that, um, who owes us money, by going to the account, because we usually spend it from our credit card. Um, and go to the search field, and you can just type in reimbursements, hit enter. And if you have multiple reimbursements, you notice there's a little comma next to it now. You can just type in... Um, Bob if there's multiple people you lend money to and only Bob will show up because Bob is in the uh, memo field right here so make sure when you put in the uh, when you loan people money make sure you put their name inside the memo field be as very as descriptive as possible in the memo field because it will help you out with organizing later but we can see we lent Bob out some money um, for this example it's October 22nd we lent him the money out uh, last month on the 21st um, and he just gave us the money back. So it's a little bit, uh, it's about a month, uh, which kind of sucks for some people because of the transaction uh, uh, for credit cards, but we're not getting into that right now. Um, but he, we see he still owes us $250, and he just wrote us a check, and we went to the bank, or we used our mobile app, and we had the $250 and we deposited into our bank account. So what we'll do is go to Add Transaction. It was today. Uh, Bob was the payee because he's the one reimbursing us. Uh, you want to do reimbursement. And you can see the green right there, we only have $150 in that category. And reimbursements uh, from Bob, again, be as descriptive as you can. You can do like paid me back. So you know he paid you back. And it was inflow because we're bringing money in. It was the two hundred fifty dollars you owes us. You hit save, and we go back to our budget, and we go to this month, October. You can see our reimbursement calendar. We like to keep four hundred dollars because we set it up as that name there, and we're back to our four hundred dollars. We can lend out or use for work reimbursements, and you click right there. You can see. The category we have a plus two hundred fifty dollars that came in, so that's nice and easy. And you can see the memo Bob paid us back. So we know that we've been paid back in full from all our people we lend money out to respect reimbursements because we're at the four hundred dollars right here, and that's the number we like to hang around at. Uh, of course, you can always go over here, type in in the search box reimbursements, and the person do comma then the person's name. And you can see all the things they owe you. And if you want to see if they ever paid you back, you go to checking and do the same thing. Comma, Bob. And there's only one in this one, but you get the point. Uh, and you can see all the time he paid you back. You can even see the date he paid you back and all that. And you can do your normal things with why now, clearing and reconciling. But that is the general purpose or general point of... Um, how to deal with people when they pay you back with reimbursements in YNAB.